In this session we shall discuss the short read package. The short read package contains tools and functionality for reading in uh, raw sequencing reads, typically in the form of a so-called FASTQ file. It also contains a functionality for reading in aligned reads, although a lot of that functionality is now dated and you should be using the RSAM tools package instead. Finally, it has some old functionality for examining base level calls, uh, by which I mean uh, uh, intensities before you do the base calling uh, on an Illumina machine. So let's start by loading the packets and getting a, a path to a FASTQ file that ships with the package itself for testing purposes. So this is just a pointer down to a FASTQ file and uh, we read it uh, just by the function called readFASTQ uh, which returns an object of class shortreadq which we will examine in a little bit. We can see in this case that we have 20,000 reads and each read is 72 bases long. You can also read the file by uh, starting by, by, by uh, instantiating a, a FASTQ file object which we do like this which really is just a pointer down to a FASTQ file. And why do we need this? Well, we need this sometimes in order to read in uh, smaller chunks of the file. Uh, and then we can read it in like this. We will, we, we're gonna see some more compelling examples of this when we discuss BAM files in another session. So how, what do, how do we access the information inside a FASTQ file? Well, a FASTQ file is conceptually pretty simple. Uh, it contains reads, base qualities, and read names. And we have access a function sread gives us a read in form of a DNA string set. Quality returns uh, quality values uh, in some weird letters things that we are going to discuss in a little bit. And then finally, uh, id gives us the uh, read names. So the quality values, as we saw before, uh, is a B string set. It contains all kinds of weird characters, and they. Uh, encode quality scores on something called the FRET scale. And before going into what the FRET scale represents, let's just say that quality values are integers between 0 and 40. And what happens is that different uh, characters here correspond to different values. This is done for compression and in order to make the files, you know, basically in order to make the file size smaller. So in order to do any real computation on qualities, you have to convert them into integers so you can actually see what happens and you can do that by coercing the quality scores into a matrix. So here I call it as a matrix and I show the first uh, two reads and the first 10 bases of the first two reads. So we can see here by comparing to uh, the thing upstairs that 8 gets translated to 39 and I gets translated to 40. So FRET scale qualities are numbers between 0 and 40, and they're supposed to have a probabilistic interpretation, giving you something, some idea of the chance that the reported base is correct. Or in other words, the chance of getting a sequencing error. How you actually get to this probabilistic interpretation is, uh, is, 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 um, is requires some methods and some thinking. Uh, sometimes you can talk about having quality scores before and after something that is known as quality remapping. And I'm just mentioning this in order to tell you that you shouldn't always believe in the probabilistic interpretation of these quality values. So this is really all you need to know about the short read packets. Uh, for handling aligned reads, uh, we will turn to the RSAM tools packets that we'll discuss later.